Hello, my name is Adam, and I will be showing you how to use Choreograph for the first time. Um, in this tutorial, we will be familiarizing ourselves with the Choreograph layout, um, and then we will learn to connect to the robot. We'll learn about box libraries, how to use boxes, and um, how we can change them to make the robot behave differently. So let's start with the choreograph layout. This is the choreograph software um, and you can create a new project up here and with this button and uh, this is what a fresh project looks like. Um, so over on the left side we have box libraries so what a box is, is it's a behavior that the robot can do. Um, these things include um, sit down, stand up, uh, walking. Um, you can also do things like speech dialogue and um, decision making um, and uh, making the robot say certain things. Uh, so, in order to do that, we need to be connected to the robot, um, and we will go ahead and click on this uh, little green connection button here, and here we have Stacy. As you can see in the uh, frame over here, Stacy's just waiting for us to connect to her. Um, so, just double click on Stacy, and you see that she pops up down in the bottom right hand corner. Um, Stacy is just sitting there doing nothing pretty much. Um, she'll kind of sway back and forth and that's okay. So uh, now that we're connected to the robot we can start experimenting with boxes. How are we going to make the robot do something? So let's start with something simple. Let's make Stacy say something. So here when I click on the say box, in the bottom left there's a little description of what that box does. Say, say some text. Note that you must open the box to enter the text. So that's what we'll do. We just drag the box right into our little working space here. And there are a couple things that you need to know in order to use the boxes. Um, when we refer to the global start, this is the global start. This is where you start the whole entire behavior of the robot. And you want to drag that into the first box of yours. And um, so we want to make the robot say something. So we double click on it. And we can make the robot say, hi. I'm Stacy, and um, what it'll do is just send that to the this little sub box, and we go back to the root where we were before, and then we connect the end of this behavior to the global end. Now all we have to do is hit the play button right here and it will compile the program that we made and send it to the robot. So here we go. Hi, I'm Stacy. And there we go, it worked. Okay. Um, so say is just one of the many boxes that you have in here. Um, there are several pretty cool ones. Um, it can even do dances like Tai Chi um, and it can do things like wave and uh, wipe its forehead. Uh, so we'll make it wipe its forehead. Um, and different boxes have different parameters that you can change. So with the say box we changed the parameter of the text that it was going to say. Um, with the wipe forehead, uh, there isn't a parameter for that one, uh, but 
let's find something that does have a parameter. Um, um, move to would be a good example um, where you can change a parameter. So we'll just delete this and make it move to somewhere. So something that you could change is how far it moves. So we'll just make it move uh, one meter. So it'll say something and then move somewhere and then the program will be over. So for fun um, oh, I'm sorry, this is an example of changing a parameter where you can change the the speed of the voice, let's say. Um, so we can make its voice sound real funny. Make it low and fast, just to give an example. Okay, so we'll skip the uh, the walking for the moment. And we can just do that by never starting it with, a, with the... Uh, by not connecting it right here. Um, okay, so let's run this again. And it'll say something, but we expect it to say it in a different sounding voice. Hi, I'm Stacy. And now we will make it do something else. So now it should say, Hi, I'm Stacy, and it should walk. Hi, I'm Stacy. Ouch. All right. So there we have our first time using choreograph. Um, some of the basics, just getting the robot to do something. All right, thank you.